Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, today it's cold and uh, raining today, but even so, um, I did my, uh, manage to do some shopping um, in the morning um, at uh, my workplace, Mar at Morrison's. Um, I'm on holiday this week, so yes, I'm really happy. So I'll be able to do more work to my travel and lifestyle channels. So really glad um, of that. Um, hi, if you're new here to my channel, my name's Rebecca. I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Don't forget to su subscribe. It's the red and white subscription button. Also click the no notification bell so you never miss a upload. Um, I'm looking to get to 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So go ahead if you haven't subscribed to su uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd be extremely grateful. Uh, now, uh, today I'm going to be doing Travel News Worldwide 10 Exciting Facts, January 2022, Part 2. Now, this is according to BreakingTravelNews.com, so I'm going to fire away with number one. The UK Hospitality Backs Platinum Jubilee Celebration. Wow. Uh, UK Hospitality has back plans to extend licence hours in England and Wales um, to 1am according to the celebrations for the Platinum Jubilee of the Queen. Wow, uh, that sounds absolutely fantastic. I hope it does go ahead. And uh, number two, uh, the Ascot sees record growth in uh, 2021. This marks the fifth consecutive year of the company has achieved record growth in um, units organically um, despite COVID-19 headwinds in the past two years. So well done to the Ascot. Uh, number t uh, three, uh, Tibet leads a Scottish uh, Passenger Agents Association. Uh, Mike Tebbit, or Tibet, um, has taken up uh, the position um, to present uh, the Scottish Passenger Agents Association the position professional body for travel agents and the travel sector in Scotland so good luck to him um, and well done number four JW Marriott Hotel at Sao Paulo to open this year good luck to the Ma uh, JW Marriott Hotel and a chain Israel number five Israeli confirms wider reopening of the tourist sector so good luck to Israel for that number six airport launches the new mobile app to members well good luck to airport for that and number seven airline passengers it the wave um, or airline pa passengers hit by the wave of December cancellations unfortunately it is sad um, number eight Expo 2020 Dubai prepares for UK National Day yes good luck and number nine COVID-19 forces uh, Royal Caribbean cancellations so that's good news. Well, for or well, no, it's obviously it's not very good news. Sorry, um, but hopefully uh, those cancellations can be rebooked um, at another time, or hopefully people will get the money back. And last but not least, Jet Two Holidays C. Uh, booking uh, return uh, to pre-pandemic levels so that's really good news for jet to holidays it shows um that the tourism sector is picking up and um i would like to say thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow uh, for 
um, the latest five exciting UK uh, facts. Um, December 2022 part two so um, again please keep watching my channel and um, I hope you all have a, as good day as possible or night uh, wherever you are in the world and I hope everybody uh, takes care and thank you and bye for now thank you bye